What's up guys, it's Dwayne from mountainbuck.com. Join me on the hunt for the best hunting products. And guys, today I'm unboxing and assembling the brand new Diesel X from Killer Instinct. This crossbow weighs in at just 7.4 pounds, yet shoots up to 405 feet per second. I'm gonna be doing a full review video of this beast, so make sure you check back for that. Also, check the description below for a promo code from Killer Instinct. Now let's get in this box and see what it's all about. You have your instruction manual right here. And here is the limb assembly right out of the box, guys. You can see that really nice Diesel X branding on there with the yellow there looking real sharp. You have some nice camo on there. You also have the limb dampeners they give you, uh, four on each side just to reduce the noise and vibration you're gonna have with this. We also have the X cam system right here. This is a fully synchronized system here that requires less effort to draw than most crossbows with its impressive 50% let off design, it also reduces vibration and is quieter on the shot. We have a very lightweight stock here with that subtle hunter green color on there looking real sharp, looking real nice. Of course you have the protectors here to make sure your hands and fingers are protected. Uh, you have a 3.5 pound trigger on here. Nice, light, crisp, clean trigger. You have the ambidextrous safe up here. So you have it on both sides, which is a really nice feature if you're left-handed or right-handed. Uh, you do have the anti-dry fire feature on there as well. They also give you this really nice Lumix speed ring scope, 1.5 by 5 by 32 scope on here. This is the same scope they give you with the Killer Instinct SWAT X1, which is a really high-end crossbow. I really like that crossbow. It's a really nice high-end scope on here. Uh, some really nice reticles in there to help you acquire targets. You'll have a blue and red illumination in this guy here. And it's quick and easy to adjust with that speed ring for different ranges. Of course, we have our quiver here, which is going to fit three of these hyper bolts they give you. And here are the really nice lightweight 20 inch hyper bolts. Here we have our pistol grip, our foregrip, and our adjustable buttstock on here. And I really like this AR style buttstock. You have five different positions you could choose from, so it's gonna fit you perfectly. Uh, and you could adjust this however you want up to five different settings. So really nice AR style buttstock on here. You could also put that crank right in the back here, quick draw crank, you could put that in there and crank it that way as well. And here we have our rope sled cocker with some rail lube. Attach the cable slide by aligning the top crossing cable with the deep groove and bottom crossing cable with the shallow groove. Once aligned, push the cable slide toward the cable crossing. Hold that cable slide in place as we insert the cable slide and cables into the cable slot within the stock. Slide the riser into the stock while keeping the main string over top of the rail here. Screw in our bolt to secure the riser to the stock. Slide the stirrup in here and tighten it down with the screws. Next, we'll just loosen the nuts on the scope, add it to our Picatinny rail, and then tighten it down once we get it where we want it. Slide the forearm grip down the Picatinny rail here. 
Add the two lock nuts to the appropriate spot and then tighten down your screws. It's helpful to just hold those lock nuts in place until you get the bolt started. Here is where we can add the sling mount. Here is one option for the quiver mount if you like the side mount style. Just slide it on the rail here and tighten it down with the two provided bolts. Here is an alternate mount for the quiver if you'd like to have it mounted under the bow. Let's install the pistol grip and we will definitely need the long allen wrench here to reach all the way inside. Finally, our buttstock slides right in here, tighten down with two small screws on either side. Add in a lock nut and bolt. and add in one more screw in the bottom here. So there it is guys, our Diesel X is fully assembled and ready to go and look at that. That is one nice solid crossbow here. Like the color on there, like the camo on there, that bold yellow design there of the Diesel X right on the front there, nice and lightweight. This is only 7.4 pounds. And one thing I really wanna highlight is just how narrow these Killer Instinct crossbows are. This thing is gonna cock down to just six and a quarter inches axle to axle here. So you're gonna be able to maneuver this thing in and out of tight spaces where you're hunting out of a ground blind, ladder stand, climbing tree stand, wherever you're at. This is gonna get the job done for you. Nice and narrow and nice and strong at 405 feet per second. Don't forget, I'm gonna be doing a full review video on this. So don't forget to check that out. Also guys, we have a promo code in the description below from Killer Instincts. As always, the links to we talk about are in the description below. Guys, get yourself some Killer Mountain Buck gear. Do me a favor, hook me up and hit subscribe. Thank you guys so much for hanging out and we'll see you on the next one.